everybody. Thank you so much for joining me in this course. And I will start telling you what all this is about. So I am here to teach you how to charge your crystals, put your intentions into your candles, show you a couple of different candle options that you can be able to use. Of course, candles come in lots of shapes and sizes, containers and all kinds of stuff. So I'm gonna show you a few of these and it's, I get a lot of people asking me also, what is the best way to charge your crystals? So we're gonna go over all of this stuff with you here and now. So I just want to tell you what I've got here on this table so far. So over here we have some incense powder. So this is in a selenite bowl. And having your things in like selenite bowls or crystal bowls or whatever you have definitely help with putting energy into your stuff. Uh, like your herbs, your incense, and here is some sea salt, and this is also used to cleanse our crystals, cleanse our candles, and when you add incense and herbs and salt and water and all of this stuff to your candles, you'll hear the term dressing your candles. So that's what I'm going to teach you guys how to do. So like I said, you have your incense, you have your sea salt, we have them in selenite bowls, and selenite is known to keep negative energy away. It's known as a cleanser. So selenite is definitely a good option for that. We also have Palo Santo over here, and I use this a lot, as you can see. And I also have a smudge stick. So mine is a little bit different. It's got some beeswax on it and some herbs as well. And uh, obviously sage and some other herbal plants here as well. Uh, I have a couple of different candles for you to see what I'm gonna work with. I don't know if you've ever seen these, you probably have. These are called Adam and Eve candles. And what we have here is a man and a woman, obviously Adam and Eve. Uh, a lot of people love to use these for a love spell. And I'll tell you how that goes in a minute. And this here is a prayer oil. Now, you don't necessarily have to have this specific oil, a prayer oil. You actually can use essential oil or olive oil. I like to use uh, oils that have a fragrance because when you burn them, that aroma comes out. And that'll also happen with the incense as well as the candle burns down. And I'll also get into why we should do that as well. We also have, which I'm sure you must have seen, candles here in a glass container. Now, the main thing is, and this is the candle that I'm going to be dressing today, okay, for you. So, I want to tell you that the most important thing to bring to your work, charging your candles, charging your crystals, whatever it is that you're charging, you have to do this with a good heart and a clear mind. You have to believe to receive, and it's your energy and your prayers and your power that is going to go into these items. So basically, don't even touch this stuff if you're not doing it from the right place. Uh, if you're not doing it from the right place, one of two things are going to happen. One is it's not going to work, or 
two, if you're doing it with bad intent or something like that, you stand the risk of running into a negative karma and this karmic boomerang is coming back at you. So that is definitely something that you will want to avoid. So with that being said, let's go ahead and begin. And what I'm going to need first is my lighter. And these are all the stuff. And in this resonance bowl right here, I have some crystals. I have a variety of different crystals in here as well. So first we are going to start with our smudge stick and our Palo Santo because we want to just cleanse everything. We want to get everything nice and cleansed, our water, our salt, our incense, our candles, everything that we have over here. We need to be nice and clean to prepare our rituals. Now, aside from doing these rituals, I just love candles and my favorite candle wax is beeswax now for my regular candle wax i usually add essential oils and all that good stuff but when it comes to beeswax i don't add anything because they just smell like warm honey when you light them up and I like that. And I think the color, because some of the uh, candles I also color, but with the beeswax, I, they're just so beautiful. The color is beautiful. And I, I feel like if we color the beeswax, it kind of takes, takes away from what it is. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our salt and we are going to just add that much. I think that's about a half a teaspoon of salt. And like I said, we have our crystals in the bowl. I have a resonance bowl here. I don't know if you've ever heard of that, but I will uh, show you what it does after we're done. And we're going to take our candle and we're going to start cleaning it off. We're just going to rub it down with the salt water. and salt in many spiritual practices and religions has always been known as a cleanser. Sam, can I get a, a little towel please to just wipe this down before I start putting everything else on it? Thank you. You know, just from top to bottom and when you feel it's nice and clean, it is. Like I said, you've got to follow your own energy, your own spirit with all of this. And this is how we dress what we call our pillar candle. And we're going to just wipe this off a bit. Now, if you notice, I have some writing on this candle and it says here, I don't know if you could see it, maybe not. It does say evil be gone. Okay. And this is what we want. We want to have this uh, candle as a protection candle. Now, you might not know how to do this, but what you can do is you can get like a pen and you can write in the wax whatever it is that you want. Another alternative is get like a sticky note or something like that and put it at the base or at the bottom of your candle. This particular candle is pretty long. So if you have something like this, then you should probably just get like a bowl of uncooked rice or those stones that you can probably find at the dollar store 
and set your candle like in a vase. You can do that. So this is nice and washed in the salt water. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and add our oil. So we also have, as you can see here, a white candle burning. So the white candle is representing peace, calm, tranquility. A lot of people think that black candles are evil or something like that. Nothing could be further from the truth. The black candle is actually a candle of protection. It's a protection from evil. So as we are rubbing the oil into the candle, as you see I'm doing now, we need to focus. We need to start thinking about what we want this candle to do for us. So this is where we start going into a prayer. This is where we start to go into a, or being able to try to vision what we wish to manifest. So we put our prayers into this candle. We start to think about what we want to manifest. And this is you putting your energy into this candle as you are rubbing the oil into the candle. And like I said, you can use any kind of oil that you have, like essential oil or olive oil. It doesn't have to be what I'm using, but just it's all about what comes from here. It's all about your energy and the power that you are putting into it. If that's not where you're coming from, like I said, it's not going to work going through the motions of doing these things without it being heartfelt is not going to be effective. So do keep that in mind. And if you're not feeling it, then you shouldn't do it or you can have somebody else do it for you. So here, remember I said earlier, we have incense powder. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead, now this particular one that I have is cinnamon, and cinnamon is also known to bring good fortune and protection. So we're just gonna go ahead and add that to our candle, and again, as we're doing this, we definitely need to put in our prayers and our wishes and our hopes and of course whatever it is that we want to manifest whether we want to uh, manifest love uh, bringing your soulmate or if we want to manifest money a promotion you can even do this for someone else on someone else's behalf You know, you just follow your heart. And I was also talking to you about the, uh, the reason that we add fragrance and the incense and all of this, because when the candle burns and the fragrance is rising up, you know, um, whether it be essential oil or the incense or, you know, even the smudge sticks, whatever. The good spirits, the angels, all of this is rising up to the heavens. Your prayers, your wishes, your hopes are rising up to the heavens and are ple this is pleasing to the good spirits. And this is why we get rewarded for what we're doing. Okay, so here is our candle, okay? This is it. And all we're gonna do, and I don't have a stand for this, but look at those hands. That's the way your hands are supposed to be looking. All we have to do at this point is light it. 
So now our candle is lit and that doesn't mean our job is over. So what we are going to do when our candle is lit is we stare into the flame. Again, thinking about all that we want, whatever it is that we want to manifest. And first, what we're supposed to be doing as soon as the candle is lit, after we look at it for a few minutes, is we have to be thinking of the things in our lives that we are grateful for. So we can start to give thanks. We can give thanks for all that we do have. Give thanks for the roof over our heads. Give thanks for the food we have. Give thanks for health, uh, whatever you feel grateful for. Also pray for forgiveness for anything, you know, that you feel guilty about, any sins. So ask for forgiveness for any trespasses. And of course, forgive those who have trespassed against you. And then we start to work on what it is that we manifest, that we wish to manifest. So here we have the evil be gone. So I'm going to show you how I do it, but of course you say whatever it is that you want or however you want to say it for, with your own words. So here I'll say, I believe and I have faith that through God all things are possible. Whatever evil, whatever negative, jealousy, bad spirits, any self-sabotaging, that exist around me, send the angels to place a barrier of protection around me and those that I love. I pray to be protected from anything that does not serve me. Lead me, guide me into the right direction to fulfill my life's purpose. Amen. So we should let this burn at the first time for about 20 minutes. 20, 30 minutes is good. We don't have to sit in front of it for 20 or 30 minutes. Just let it burn. Of course, never leave a burning candle by itself. At least be in the room, put it in a safe place. And then when it's done, put out your candle. So, this is how you dress your intention candle and you put power into it. So let's say we have one in a glass jar. Okay, so how can we possibly follow those steps when we have a glass jar? Okay, not a problem. <laughs> All we have to do is take a little bit of our oil Now, you can use herbs as well. And I am going to go ahead and list below this video some of the best herbs and spices to use to put on your intention candle for different manifestations. And we can also go ahead and just add some of this incense powder and we really can't do anything with the salt water but that's perfectly okay like i said it is your intentions your energy and your belief that actually empowers your candles your crystals or whatever you're using. So we're going to go ahead and just cleanse this up. And then we're just going to give it a light. And there we go. Pretty simple. And of course, every 
color of the candle is representing something, which I'm going to go over with you a little later on. But for now, we're just focused on dressing our candles. So, with the Adam and Eve candles, we basically do the same thing. Okay, we're going to wash them down with the salt water. We're going to oil them up. And we're going to add our incense powder. We're going to put our intentions. So this is for the love spell. This is to bring the couple closer together, the soulmate together, to resolve conflict if there's a breakup or something like that. So basically, you would go ahead and follow the same instructions that I gave you to follow with this candle that we worked on. The only difference is, is we are going to set these two candles apart and we're going to set them apart I'd say about approximately 12 inches apart okay and every day we're going to bring them a little closer a little closer a little closer and a little closer until ultimately they're together and then you're going to burn them and let the wax melt let it all melt in together so that's what you do with the adam and eve candles here okay so moving into our crystals so as I told you, we have some crystals in here. Some are for protection. Some are cleansers. We've got this guy here, which is for the root chakra. These are my favorite, the spheres. Okay, so these are some of my crystals in here. So what we do, this is how we charge our crystals. So what we do is we hold our crystals in our hands. And we simply put our energy and power into them, making sure that they are attached to us, making these our personal crystals. They're not for, for anybody but you. Okay, this is how you put your own energy into your crystals. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna set them in this bowl of water, okay? And then we're just going to add, you saw me do this before with the candle, but I'm just going over this again for the sake of this tutorial. So we're going to add about a half a teaspoon of sea salt in here. So now that we've got our sea salt and everything, we're just going to mix our crystals around. Okay, and we can do one of two things with our crystals to get them charged and we're either going to set them in the sunlight or we set them in the moonlight to get the energy either from the sun or the moon and we can leave them out there overnight or minimum two hours two three hours or overnight whatever you know works best for you whatever you have time for but uh yes that's how they need to be powered um and that's basically how you charge your crystals it's not really complicated a lot of people have different methods but this is the old-fashioned way this is how it's done and it's always been effective you will even feel these crystals, you'll feel the difference in them after they've been cleansed and charged fully. So after you get them out, you just rinse off the salt water and they are good to go. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in this course. I will see you in our next video. Namaste.